From October this year, buying shares of Apple Corp from the US stock exchange will no longer be considered by the MAS as a sophisticated trade. This after MAS announced refinements to its investor protection rules. Introduced early this year, the rule required investors to be assessed on their knowledge to invest in certain products. Sophisticated investment products with derivatives or complex terms and features are categorised as specific investment products or SIP. Feedback I got is the rather uh, uh, apprehensive, you know, and it's not a straightforward test, you know, one plus one equal two. It's something that they really have to think about. And if these old folks have not been taking tests for a long time, they really find a burden or even a chore to take one. And by the time they do so, the market has gone up and they, will be, they probably will miss the boat. MAS has also clarified that a retail investor need not take a test before being allowed to buy more complex SIPs. But brokers must explain the risks involved before the retail investor takes the plunge. Investment-linked funds, unit trusts and exchange-traded funds may also qualify under the simpler EIP category. This may also include shares traded in foreign exchanges. Unit trust has got, uh, it is a difficult product if you don't understand it. All right. So it comes with the derivatives just like ETFs. All right. Some are simpler, some are difficult. So you do need to understand the product before you invest. See, this is why investors need to have education. Investing without knowledge is a gamble. MAS says the reclassification announced on Wednesday were after consultations with the industry.